Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a, uh, a succulent cactus garden and we're going to be putting it in this big pot. For those of you who say this pot is too big for cactus and succulents, I'm one up on that. I, uh, I filled the bottom with gravel. Uh, this is just a regular drainage gravel, I believe it's limestone. Um, some people will say that's going to uh, uh, bring the pH up too much, but uh, we're going to put a piece of landscape fabric in there to, uh, to separate the soil from the, uh, from the stones. And uh, you know what? If it brings the, uh, the pH up to 7 or 8, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Uh, you can always uh, fix pH by, uh, by fertilizer and, and other, other means. So anyway, we've got the, uh, the pot, we've got the drainage, and things are good. So what inspired me, well, if you haven't, didn't see it, I did a, uh, a haul video on uh, cactus and succulents, and uh, I don't believe this one was in it. Uh, I wanted to get a center focal point plant, and this uh, Opuntia, I don't know what variety it is, but it's a bunny ear cactus, and it uh, looks like it's, it's adorable. It's so cute. So we're going to put that in the center, and then all the other little ones that I had purchased... Uh, when I went out to a garden center crawl um, uh, relatively recently, I'll maybe post a card uh, uh, at the top for the for the haul video. All sorts of different things that I that I purchased. More impulse buys than anything. We're going to fill in all the gaps with cute little succulents. So I've got a whole variety here. I might not use all of them, but uh, as we start to to put it together, you'll see everything come into play. So uh, what we're going to do first is soil, well first was drainage, then the landscape fabric to keep the soil separate from the stones, and then we've got, this is an all-purpose pro mix, uh, this is not a great cactus mix, this will stay very moist, so you want to add some drainage to this. This will drain, but there's a lot of peat moss that holds on to a lot of moisture, that might not be good for, uh, for succulents or cactus for a long period. Uh, I've got some perlite that we're going to be adding in, as well as I'm going to use some fir bark. This is from Orchid's uh, Potting me uh, Media. I'm going to add that in uh, to, uh, to increase airflow and, uh, and aid in the drying of the soil. So this should, should be fine. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to use this uh, green container just to mix some of my soil up in don't need this scoop just yet. This already has some perlite in it. Bah. <laughs> I should have pre-moistened it. It was pre-moistened, but it was outside for a long time. So you're able to see what's going on in here. I'm going to add some, uh, some bark to it. I'll just put the whole bag in, for goodness sake. I got lots of it. Then we're going to add some more perlite. You don't want to breathe in that dust. That's not good for you. There we go. So we're just going to work it in, mix it thoroughly. We'll come right back when this is uh, finished being mixed. Okay, so I've got it all mixed up. This should be a fine mix. You can add sand, you can add uh, coarse grit or something like that, but I don't have any coarse grit. I was looking around for some, but I, I can't find it in my area. Probably just not looking in the right spot. Uh, so I used to have some. It was for aquatic plants or uh, for pond plants, but I've used that up a long time ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to get my little shovel. Actually, I don't need a shovel right off. I could just pour some in. I've got the landscape fabric, like I said, to separate the uh, the layers. There we go. So we're just going to add some to the bottom. And the first thing I want to plant is my central plant. This one here, the cute little bunny ears, the Opuntia. This one here is uh, one of the meanest and nastiest ones that you'll see. Uh, it looks all fuzzy and cute. But each one of these little uh, dots on there is full of little hairs that will stick in and really irritate your skin. So you want to be careful. The method that I'm going to use today 
It's Kevlar gloves. No, I don't have Kevlar gloves. <laughs> Gonna use some newspaper. You gotta be careful too with these ones because these pads will break off fairly easily. I'm just going to wrap the paper around the plant. And we're gonna carefully tip it over and get it out. The paper should stop the, the prickles from getting into your hands. There's a nice root system going on there. We don't want to damage the root system too much, but I'm just going to break it open just a little bit. And then we're going to find its home. There we go. Unscathed. <laughs> they're, they're all stuck to the other side of this paper. So, uh, somebody's going to get prickled. Whoever picks that up next. So we're going to add some more soil around this because all of my other cactus and succulents are actually... I'm going to lift this up a little bit higher. All of my other cactus and succulents are in smaller pots. So I want to add some soil so they could just sit on the soil surface while we adjust and figure out how we're going to plant them. At the end of this, I'm not going to do it with you because I don't have any, but I just touched it. Now I got prickles all over my fingers. <laughs> uh, the joys of playing with cactus and, well, cactus, not succulents. Um, I'm going to probably use a uh, aquarium gravel on the top, a natural aquarium gravel, or maybe some pea stone to finish it off. Uh, but I don't have any at the moment, so you won't see that, but maybe if I do an update video in the backyard, you'll be able to see that. Um, so, okay, I've got a variety of things. There's Gasteria. Gasteria is a really cool plant. I really enjoy it. It kind of looks fake. I think another name for it is an ox tongue. Rightfully so. It's very rough like a, like a cow's tongue. Here's another Gasteria variety. It's really, really nice. I'm just, I'm not even going to plant them just yet. I want to see what we want to have. This one, I believe, is a variety of Echevira, and it's got a beautiful flower that's come out. I want to have that kind of dangling over the side of the pot. And I've got this nice sedum. I can't remember the variety of this. You guys have helped me out with, uh, with variety names, but I can't, I can't quite remember it at the moment. I've got this really cool one. I have no idea what this is. But uh, I thought it was really, really fun. It just trails down. Looks like a, a string of bananas, uh, except they're, uh, they're green, not yellow. <laughs> so I was thinking that would look nice right along the side. I've got all kinds of little Haworthias. Well, I only have two. I have all kinds around here, but I'm only going to use two for this, uh, this planting. So we'll just plunk them in wherever. Here's another little Haworthia. Wherever they'll fit. And then here's another uh, neat little sedum. This one here is called, I believe it's uh, the jelly bean plant or pork and beans. This one gets a nice red tone to the leaves when, uh, when it gets a little bit stressed out, maybe a little bit too much light or maybe some cold temperatures. And then we got, wow, I got a lot of succulents going on here. I forget what this one is. Uh, it's somebody's name, Morgan's something. Morgan's Delight, I don't know. So it's going to go in here somewhere as well. And I have this one. I don't know, uh, when we start planting, I might be able to, uh, to change things up and, uh, and uh, fit it in here. I really like this one. This one will add some nice, uh, nice texture as well with the big fat leaves and uh, the nice gray foliage. So I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer so that you can look kind of down on what I'm doing. Don't look down on me, but come with me. <laughs> so just uh, come on in. So here we are, much closer, thank goodness, and uh, you'll be able to see what we're doing a lot easier than being far away. Certainly you got to see me, but that's not the whole thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just let's just get to it. I'm gonna take some of these things out. I, as you can see, I just have like a ring of uh, plants around the central point, and uh, I don't necessarily want it to just be a ring. As we plant things, we're gonna stagger them a little bit and uh, make it look more natural, if that's, if, if that's possible. So here we go, let's just start taking things, ah! 
let's start taking things out of the pot and uh, the roots are gonna fall away or not the roots the soil is gonna fall away because uh, cactus and succulents tend to have very small root systems except for some things this one is a big root system all right if the if the soil falls away it's gonna make my life a lot easier because you can plant things closer together this sedum is gonna cause me hassle because all of the little babies are gonna fall off there we go I'm just gonna put this one off to the side inside a pot so that it, it's held together I have all kinds of little babies that, that fell off, little uh, little leaves. Those will grow, so I don't want to lose those. We got a little Haworthia here. We're going to take soil away, or take the pot away. All right, so we got everything in order. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> uh, I love winging it. I've got these uh, bits of, uh, of cactus all stuck in my arm, in my hand. Start with some more soil here. We're going to move it out of the way. We're going to plant that in. This one doesn't need to get moved. It looks nice the way it is. Some more soil. This sedum, I'm going to actually get really close to the one that uh, hangs. It's going to look really nice there. This Haworthia has a very similar color, so I don't want to mix it with this one. I'm going to go with maybe this uh, this cute little one. I can't remember the name of it. You guys did a great job in telling me what the varieties are, but I can't I can't remember right off. And I will make some tags, and the tags will go in this planter. So cute. And then we're going to plant one of these little Haworthias now, right in the front. just going to get a little bit more soil. There we go. Now let's spin the pot so you can see what's happening. Got the Haworthia here. We got the Gasteria there. When we water this in, We'll be able to get rid of all of the excess soil that's on the leaves. You got to be careful sometimes with succulents. You don't want to water them in uh, right away. You usually want to wait a, uh, 24 hours or so to let any uh, any wounds callus before you get them wet. So we'll probably end up doing that with this one. We'll wait a little while. This one's pokey. There we go. That's really nice. I love Gasterias. They look and feel fake. There we go. This will be a boring video. <laughs> uh, but it's fun for me. Boring for you. I apologize. <laughs> uh, all right, so what do we have left? Do I have another Haworthia somewhere? I do have another Haworthia somewhere. Where did it go? There's one here. 
Ah, right there. Ah. I just, I don't know whether you're able to see it. Right here. I just brushed the cactus, and now I've got all these little hairs. Oh, my God. That's gonna, that's gonna, I'm gonna feel that for a week. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put the little Haworthia right at the corner. Then we're gonna put the, uh, the succulent, um, sedum, the pork and beans, or whatever you want to call it, in that other zone. So we're going to put some soil in here. More soil. Being generous with the soil, it will wash down when we water it in. So we're going to take this pork and beans. This makes me laugh every time I think about it. <laughs> pork and beans. And then we're going to add some soil around it. I keep touching the cactus and that's not good. <laughs> I'm going to feel that for a week. Just that uncomfortable feeling. They don't draw blood, so you don't know that where they are, but uh, you'll certainly feel them. All right, so now we got all kinds of little sedums, all of the little uh, all the little leaves. Just gonna sprinkle them all over the soil surface. I'm not gonna do anything with them. Just uh, make a little bit of contact with the soil, and there we go. We got this little planter. Uh, again, I'm going to be adding a layer of gravel or something uh, to the planter so that uh, it'll add as a uh, act as a mulch. It'll keep it uh, from drying out too quickly. Uh, it will also uh, stop the soil from splashing up when I water. Uh, it'll be really, really good. So stay tuned for more updates. Maybe I'll post on Instagram what it looks like when it's all complete. Uh, so I will be watering this in tomorrow and uh, let things callous over uh, just in case I've broken any roots. I don't want any rot to occur. So anyway, again, stay tuned for more updates. Happy growing, everyone. It reminds me of Christmas. I don't want to think of Christmas right now because it's so beautiful outside, but it reminds me of a beautiful Christmas day. The turkey in the oven, delightful. You guys are probably yelling at the camera, don't talk about that. I don't want to hear about Christmas. Let's have fun in the summer. <laughs>